Welcome back to Little Egypt tonight at SIU Arena. The top 20 Southern Illinois Salukis take on the Sweet 16 from a year ago. Bradley Braves trying to find sweetness again on our Mercy Health Plan's pregame show. Quick, call security. Call security. Nah, just kidding. Uh, two, may answer. <laughs> two very talented guys who could work anywhere in the country have been in this league for 28 years, and they join us now. Dave Snell, the voice of the Bradley Braves. Mike Reese, the voice of the Southern Illinois Salukis. I want to start with Dave now. 837 straight games in 28 years, and yet there is some controversy surrounding your 794th game. Yes, it occurred last year at the Quest Center where I was hauled out on, uh, on this network uh, in, a, in a wheelchair. They remember, see, they, um, and uh, spent a couple of days in, uh, in Omaha. The people took great care of me. But because I was part of that broadcast, they have given me a, a special dispensation to, uh, to count that since I did the pregame for both uh, that one and the Indiana State game the next day. You guys jumped right into it right away. Mike, your first game was a rivalry game yeah. uh, 1978 because Evansville and Southern Illinois have such a great rivalry. Do you remember it? Before Evansville got in the league and it was here and it was uh, I was nervous as heck and was sick all day. Um, I got the job doing Southern's game because the guy ahead of me at the radio station I work for WCIL got tired of waiting for us to get the rights. He left three months later we got the rights and I got to do the game and and remember the Evansville game. The three of us agree on one thing. The Valley is the nation's best non BCS basketball league. We got numbers to prove it. But Dave I want to ask you about the Valley's resurgence. You guys have seen it for three decades. Why is it at the level it is now. Leadership first of all Doug Elgin and in his entire staff have been there to build this up. Secondly, the coaches and the administrations have scheduled to the point where they're not only playing better teams, but they're beating them. RPIs and then success breeds success. All the coaches, many of the coaches, the core coaches have stayed and the talent's gotten better. I think those are the big keys, but it starts with leadership and our commissioner uh, it can't be thanked enough. You two guys have a scrapbook full of memories, but Mike, I have to ask you, defining moments for Southern Illinois, in your opinion, over a 28-year period? Well, I think old-time Saluki fans, Mitch, would uh, would talk about the 67 NIT championship. They would talk about the 77 Sweet 16 team. The tournament was 32 teams then. But I have to think the biggest moment for Southern is making the 2002 Sweet 16. Um, in Chicago to get two wins over Texas Tech and Georgia, the Coach Bruce Weber, Kent Williams, Jermaine Dearman team. Um, the, uh, the tournament is a much bigger deal now than it was in 77, and it is a much bigger deal even though the 67 NIT the NIT was a much bigger deal then it was as big then as the NCAA tournament is now but no SIU teams performed on the stage that the 2002 team uh, performed on so I think that's Southern's defining moment real quick here one of these times we're going to do a 30 minute show with these two guys alone because <laughs> we could fill it but real quickly where's the valley headed this year Dave in your opinion well they've got three and could be four and I think six teams will play in postseason uh, Obviously, the Salukis are, are, are going to be there, and uh, I think uh, Missouri State is owed one, and I think they're going to get there, and, uh, and Creighton, obviously, and who knows what's going to happen in the tournament. You two guys are the best, believe me, and your two schools should enshrine you someday and with some statue. All right, stay tuned. It's Bradley in Southern Illinois in our Valley, Valley Game of the Week. Taxi! Southern Illinois Salukis ranked 20th in one poll, 21st in the other. As they entertain the Bradley Braves last year, a team that went to the Sweet 16 from SIU Arena here in Carbondale. And good evening, everybody. I'm Mitch Holtis, the voice of the Valley, along with Coach Charlie Spoonar. Now, for Southern Illinois, they're ranked, they're at home, and they're angry. Well, they've already lost once to this Bradley team, and they don't like losing to anyone. They don't lose much here, Mitch. I tell you, this uh, the reason, they have a good basketball team. They're well coached. They defend, and this crowd gets behind them. It's tough. They haven't had much bad news this year, but one of the bad news was the fact they lost in uh, at Bradley, and there's worse news. Jeremy Crouch didn't play in that game for the Braves. And Crouch was off to such a great start. Freshman year, he shot it well. Sophomore year, a slump. This year, he came out and was shooting 16 points a ball game, shooting 50% from three. And now he's bounced back. He missed a month, but there's his numbers, and he's, I tell you, he's ready to go. At one point, was leading the country in three-point shooting. In the middle for Southern Illinois, Randall Falker. 
Can't guard him, Mitch, one-on-one, -on -one, I don't think. He just, he just does too many things. He's too strong. He's a good defender. He runs the floor. He does everything. He's a very complete basketball player, very, very improved each year. And he's our Gatorade Player of the Week in the Valley this week, averaging 16 points and 11 boards in wins over Indiana State and at Wichita State. 11 of 21 from the field. Ahead. He's got five double-doubles this season, his fifth against the Sycamores of Indiana State. Gatorade presents our Player of the Week in the Valley. Gatorade, is it in you? Falker gets some help for the backcourt. Jamal Tatum, a senior from Jeff City, Missouri, has only lost one home game in his career here in Little Egypt. In the shadows, you challenge yourself. In the spotlight, you challenge others. You know what it takes to be number one. At State Farm, so do we. Come on, a pinata. Just beat that mule. Okay. Hey, it's Bud Light. It's a Bud Light pinata. Refreshingly smooth Bud Light. Always worth it. Here, it's the cake. It's a Bud Light cake. I'm a Mecca Okafor. College graduate, Charlotte Bobcat, and proud recipient of the Aeropost Style Big East Scholar Athlete of the Year. Graduating with a 3.76 GPA and a degree in finance in three years, I balance books and basketball. Aeropost Style gives out more than $300,000 in scholarships to both students and student athletes. It wasn't and still isn't all about the rebounds. Championship poker is huge right now. As your agent, I say you do it. Cut. What you got, blue boy? I guess you do play poker. State Farm Missouri Valley Conference Game of the Week is brought to you by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. By Bud Light, refreshingly smooth Bud Light, always worth it. By Aeropostal, providing scholarship through sponsorship. By Pepsi Cola, the official soft drink of the Missouri Valley Conference. And by Purina Dog Chow, long live your dog. Welcome back to the Egyptian Dog Pound at Southern Illinois, Bradley against 20th ranked Southern Illinois. 76 and three here since 0102 for the Salukis. Head coach for the visiting Braves. One of Valley Greats, one of the Valley Greats as a player. In his fifth year as the head coach of Bradley and took the Braves as home out of the Sweet 16. Last year as a coach, as a player, he was the nation's top player under six feet tall when he led the Braves to a 32 and three record. Take a look at the starting lineups, a presentation of Bud Light. Refreshingly smooth Bud Light. Always worth it. Rough and struggle the last time we had him a week ago at home against Creighton, but he can get it cranked up. The game winner was hit by Will Franklin the last time these two teams met back in January. Twice improved. Sally and Andrews need big nights for the Braves. The Salukis, they work so well together. These five guys are an absolute machine, both offensively and defensively. And their head coach is Chris Lowry, the only person in the 100-year history of the Valley to win the Valley Tournament as both a player and a coach. He's been the youngest coach in the NCAA Tournament the past two years. Let's check in now with Charlie Spooner's keys to the game, a presentation of National City. Well, keys are going to be obviously poise versus Saluki pressure. You cannot afford to turn the basketball over, and you've got to get good shots, not forced shots. Inside presence is necessary because you're going to have to balance off Falker. For SIU, limit your turnovers. 20 last time in the loss at Bradley, and defend the threes against the number four shooting three team, averaging over 10 a game. Got to get after them. 
Points from National City, the best banking rewards program around where you earn rewards points for doing the things you already do every day. Visit your local National City branch today for details. Now let's check in with a series history brought to you by Sirius Satellite Radio. The best radio on radio. Visit Sirius.com. Two longtime rivals. Bradley's not won here since 2001. And overall, the Salukis have won 10 of the last 13 in this series. Five straight here at SIU Arena for Southern Illinois. But when you look at what Southern Illinois has done here at home, Charlie, it just blows your mind. 76 and 3 against everybody, 50 and 1 against the Valley. That's just silly. I mean, when you get right down to it, you can't expect to do that. As you expect from the Salukis, here's man defensive pressure, and it's going to be there all night. First possession of the game, the Bradley Braves. Game on. In America's best non-BCS basketball conference, the Valley, Will Franklin works the baseline. And Randall Falker with the first of what we expect to be many rebounds tonight. Pretty good shot selection, pretty good ball handling by Bradley that time. Brian Mullins runs the point for the Salukis. 21 assists, five turnovers in the last five games. Bradley returns a favor with man defensive pressure right here. Sally jumps in the lane, knocks it out of bounds. There's six to shoot for the Salukis. And our first officiating assist by Jim Less <laughs> in less than a minute. The Sayu is six to shoot. Got a problem here. Tatum looks up at the clock, forces one, shot clock violation. So Bradley does a Southern Illinois impersonation when they're on defense. Well, I think when you practice all week against it, what you think a team's going to do against you, you start to reflect them a little bit. There's a look at Brian Mullins. I call them the Egyptian dogs. They're really Dobermans when they guard, although this time it's an easy basket for Matt Salad. Young, the ability to penetrate. Shot missing from Tatum. And Bradley already off to a much better start than we saw a week ago at home when they played great. One thing, Bradley does have the perimeter quickness to match up a little bit with Southern Illinois. We see some teams where they kind of just have a mismatch and can't deal with Tatum, Young, and Mullins. Well, they've got three guards on the floor all the time, and, and that is that is one thing that at least gives you a chance to handle a basketball. Southern, as good as they are defensively, last in the Valley in offense per game at 63 points per game, but a lot of that dictated by the way they play on both ends of the floor. Tatum gets set up, set up again by Mullins. This counts for the extra point. All that started when the double team came on Falker, because as we said earlier, it's pretty hard to play him one-on-one, -on -one, so we'll have to watch that. Tatum, 10 of his last 26 from three, shot just 29% a year ago from bonus distance. They run two at Ruffin. 10 to shoot for Bradley. Sally double clutches over Falker. Ball. Excuse me, Mitch. Jim Les has got to like these possessions, though, better than the last ball game. At least he's getting good looks at the basket. And he's getting back on defense better than he did against Craig. Young with a pull up, splashes it home. The two guards in the game at Bradley, Charlie. Tatum was two for ten. Young was just two for seven. Offense is pushed way, way out. Franklin, nice take. Hit it over Young. You're seeing a lot of dribble penetration. And then making passes out of that, getting the Salukis to help, and then trying to find an open man. Franklin at 18 against the Salukis in Peoria, including the game winner. 5-4 Egyptian Dogs just underway here in Little Egypt. Yeah. 
Shaw strong works it off Bradley. A reminder this game closed caption made possible by Emerson to learn more visit go to Emerson.com Emerson consider it solved. We talked about this last game Mitch in a, in a game where defense rules if you can find a way to score on out of bounds plays or transition it really really helps. Mullins is the trigger man. Falker deep catch bucket foul. Key to that is deep catch. He caught the thing within a foot and a half of the basket. Nobody could get there to double team. That's just that's too much. Zach Andrews called for the foul. Falker so strong, third in the conference in scoring, third in rebounding. He only has one Achilles heel, Charlie. There's only one weakness in his game. <laughs> And we're getting ready to see maybe part of it right here. Although he has had some ball games where he strung baskets or free throws together. One of yeah, excuse me, he mentioned again, he's a 55% shooter. And there's the start of it right there. Stoinks that one. He was three of seven at Bradley in that loss in Peoria. He had a double double, but missed four free tosses. Good ball movement. Route set up Franklin but couldn't knock it down. Southern Illinois with possession up three. Good example of giving up a good shot to get a better shot though that time by Bradley. Which is a trademark of this year's Bradley team. I'm impressed Charlie with the way Bradley has started defensively. Awareness, quickness. This is you're right. Their efforts good. And here's the first chance at a run out. Sally chases. Twy gets the finish. It's a hard basket to get right there. That's that was a basket earned by good good passing. Bradley showing zone here now. Tatum over the top of the zone. Young. New possession, Southern Illinois. That shot might have been a little quicker. Walker with its owner man goes inside again and digs low. He'll have free throws when we come back to foul on Crouch. But a good start for Bradley on the road, down just one. No matter what comes your way, we've got you covered. Mercy Health Plans, a full line of plans for groups and individuals linked to a high quality network of doctors and hospitals from one of the most trusted names in healthcare. Mercy Health Plans, the way we care makes all the difference. at Men's Warehouse to look almost as good as she does. You're going to like the way you look. I guarantee it. The best of the National Geographic Channel is now available on demand, where the only thing better than going to the edge is doing it again and again. Choose the show you want when you want it. Pause. Rewind. You're in control. National Geographic Channel On Demand. Dare to explore. You control the action on Channel 99. It's free for Insight Digital customers. Call 1 966 Insight today. The world might not be made for you, but Men's Warehouse is. 
We have an extensive big and tall selection, all at prices that won't knock you out. You're going to like the way you look. I guarantee it. February. Bradley, a lot of energy here, trending just by one to the 20th ranked team in the country, Southern Illinois. 1444 to play in the first 20. A reminder that at intermission, we'll have our report brought to you by Cardinal Glennon Children's Medical Center. Charlie will talk with both coaches. We'll check back in history and others features. Reminder, Cardinal Glennon Children's Medical Center, where love for kids just keeps on growing. Falker right back to the line where he clanked one. Last year he was the MVP. And around and around it goes. He was the MVP of Arch Madness, the postseason tournament in St. Louis, when Southern Illinois beat Bradley in the finals. Dead center. Anytime the crowd reacts like that, you know they didn't really expect it. Southern Illinois goes to the bench. Tyrone Green in. And there's a foul on Green. Bumping Daniel Ruffin. Well, Green is put in the ball game to defend. That's his role in life, at least this year. And he does it very well. Junior out of Monticello, Kentucky. Didn't discover he was left-handed until junior college. Or maybe kindergarten might figure that out. There's the ball screen, and the first time the Salukis have been able to get a double team really set, Mitch. Franklin in jail gets tied up. It's a turnover because the arrow points to Southern Illinois. The State Farm Missouri Valley Conference men's basketball tournament tips off March 1 at Scott Trade Center in downtown St. Louis. It goes through the 4th of March. Stop in at any St. Louis Taco Bell location. You can take 12 bucks off any session ticket to the Valley Tournament by picking up a coupon at the St. Louis area Taco Bell restaurants while supplies last. Nice idea there. Extend your zone down the floor. Make particularly the new guys that came into the game for the Salukis have to think a little. You said Bradley kind of discovered that the zone works by mistake or what? Well, it, by happenstance, fouls caused it. Defense causes a deflection here. They were a second away from a shot clock violation anyway. There's your double team again. And they're making the play after the double team comes. Franklin. Great look. And Bradley, outstanding passing, but no shot knocked down by Franklin. That's about three times there's been an, a reasonably open look. Better than you usually get against SIU. Southern swings it around the zone and Clemens attacks and scores. Wesley Clemens off the bench, a sophomore from Indianapolis, Indiana. And another very good defender. I think that's got to be in your package. Or if it's not, you need to get it really quickly. Mullins last year was great at stealing. Gets wrapped up by Twy. <laughs> <laughs> give Twy credit. He's trying to sell no intentional foul by acting as though he's got a jump ball out of that. That's a, that's a smart play by J.J. Twy. Last year, Mullins had 94 steals, Charlie. This year, just 36. But he's, he plays great defense every time. Huh? He, he does that, and I, I think, too, Mitch, now people look at him and say, you know, he's going to get the ball from us. It's not like a year ago when they just look out there and see this little guy kind of run around, a little pleasant fella. He's a tough kid, and he gets after the basketball. Jim Lesh, not exactly tickled right now. He is right in the grill of his team. Turnovers. He doesn't want he, he wants to get shots. I don't think, I, you know, he's obviously not happy when they miss an open shot. But when they turn the thing over, that's what drives them crazy. They are number one in the league in assist to turnover ratio and actually With number one in turnover margin. In the first half of Missouri Valley Conference play, it's Evansville 40, Creighton 34. Southern Illinois leading here 11 to 6. 12.58 remaining first half into the line will be Brian Mullins, the point guard for the Salukis. 82% at the line. He didn't like it when it left his hand. Bradley has had 10 possessions in the game, Charlie. Two open looks, and they've missed both of those. Oh. 
Sometimes SIU's defense will affect you even if you get open looks. That's the thing. You you get a look, but you still don't make the shot. It's it's because you've been hurried and you've harassed and just not there. Southern Illinois missing both free throws. But they get it back with an offensive board. Young, he took steps. Nice recovery by Danny Adams of the Braves. Change of defense again. Bradley's given different looks and maybe making, making the Salukis think a little bit. Evansville leading Creighton at halftime, 48 to 34. Creighton tied with Southern Illinois for the lead of the lead, 10 and 3. Now there's a look. This is what the opponent looks when they come down the floor at these guys. I call them the Egyptian dogs. They're really the Dobermans, Charlie. It's like playing a bunch of Dobermans and playing them in their pen. The idea I think that you get playing against Southern Illinois is if I can just get rid of this thing before they yank it away from me, I've accomplished something. But then you get moving too fast, doing things you can't do, and then you get in trouble. Fell on the Saluki, Zach Andrews to the line. Andrews, well, he's only 55% at the line, but he's been a part of the Bradley success. A lot of people thought Bradley would fall off the cliff after Patrick O'Brien, Marcellus Somerville, and others. Lawrence Wright left. But Andrews, his contributions have been a big part of Bradley's 16 and 9 season. Defense comes down this time. There's a little double team. Something again for the Salukis to think about. Near steal by the Braves. 11 to 7, Southern Illinois. Played almost eight minutes. Eight to shoot. Clemens. Strong, no finish. And Zach Andrews rips it down for the Braves. There's your double team again. There the chase is on. And the foul is called. Mike Sanzier. He's going to call it on Tyrone Green, and that's Green's second. Jim Les continues to challenge his team to be tough within four on the road in Carpenter. A groundbreaking 14-year study by Purina proves that dogs can live longer, healthier lives. After all these years, you haven't lost a step, you old hound. Dog chow nutrition, fed properly over a lifetime, can help add up to two healthy years to your dog's life. OK, last one home buys breakfast. Long live your running partner. Long live your dog. Purina Dog Chow. The Missouri Valley Conference celebrates athletic excellence, bringing you nonstop red hot collegiate basketball. There's another team in town that we're privileged to support the Bob Costas Cancer Center at Cardinal Glennon Children's Hospital. The Cancer Center provides state of the art technology, a child friendly environment, and compassionate care to children who are diagnosed with cancer and other blood disorders. The Missouri Valley Conference and the Bob Costas Cancer Center. We're here for the kids. Give us a hand. Wouldn't it be great to hear exactly what you want on radio? Then say yes to over 130 channels of Sirius Satellite Radio. Say yes to 100% commercial-free music from rock to pop, hip-hop to country. Yes to every NFL game, the NBA, college sports, and NASCAR coming this January. Yes to comedy, news, talk, and more. To a subscription that's less than 50 cents a day, say yes and join over 10 million listeners. Say no to regular radio. And now get a radio plus a three-month subscription for less than $99. Sirius, the best radio on radio. It's more than just the teams. Arch Madness. It's more than just the players. Arch Madness. It's more than just the games. Arch Madness. It's just absolute, total, ultimate madness. It's the 2007 State Farm Missouri Valley Conference Men's Basketball Tournament, March 1st through 4th. Arch Madness. Get your tickets now and be a part of the madness. 
20th ranked team in the country, Southern Illinois, leading Brandy 11 to 7, 11 41. We go in the first half of this game. Time now to announce our Prairie Farms Valley Scholar Athlete of the Game. It's Southern Illinois' Todd Reedy, a junior defender on the Bradley soccer team, a two-time Valley Soccer Scholar Athlete selection. Second team academic All-America choice in 06. Prairie Farms family of dairies, Prairie Farms Highland and Roberts Dairies serving dairy fresh food products throughout Mid-America. Crouch with a miss. Southern back with the basketball. Little man defense here right now. And your shot clock, this has happened more than once, is now down under the 14 mark. Shaw's flirting with a five count. Rescued by Tony Boyle. Tatum around Adams, off balance. When we brag about Southern Illinois' defense, we have to give the same compliment to Bradley. They've kept it up now for a nine minute period. I certainly have. Twy. An open look and a missed shot and a foul on the rebound. Frustration when you can't get to the ball. You miss a shot and then you can't get the ball to the, when you rebound. That's, you just end up shoving somebody. Third open look. Andrews has to set down now with his second foul. Bradley is not deep in the middle. Tonight's game is brought to you in part by Aeropostal. Visit us on the web at aeropostal.com for all the latest trends in casual apparel for both boys and girls, providing scholarship through sponsorship. And you mentioned before about uh, the, the zone coming as a result of fouls. Well, this is exactly the same situation. Joshua Bone now in for Southern Illinois. There's a zone with your big men right now are Sally and Twy. Twy came here for the thing as a point guard. <laughs> Nine to shoot. In the corner, a three fired in by Tony Young. He had six threes against Western Kentucky. 17 of 39 spoon his last eight games. A lot of on the ball screens by Bradley. Ball <laughs> flicked out of his hand, wasn't it? Got a side spin to it. Southern Illinois leading by seven. Bradley has to be careful as hard as they've worked. They don't want to get down big here. Boyle, a bonus tip in. Rejected by Matt Shaw. Mullins to the rack. Time out and a good one right there by Jim Les. The shot get the box, one thing, but then the run out at the back end of it is, is what's frustrating. Seven, quick, Egyptian dog points here. People say Mullins isn't that fast, but he's sneaky fast. Well, you mentioned it before. He's got good feet. First of all, he doesn't have a lot of crazy actions to what he's doing. He's figured out the shortest distance is a straight line. That's the first thing. And he just put, he's strong enough to get to the basket, and he, he makes shots. People don't think he's going to shoot it. He just takes it and makes shots. The Egyptian dogs are barking loudly tonight in Little Egypt with a 7-0 run. And in milliseconds, they take a four-point nervous lead over Bradley, quickly two double digits. Somebody's got to hit some shots if you're Bradley. That's what you're starting to think of right now. You're 0 for 4 from 3. And it bears repeating. Bradley, one of the top three-point shooting teams in the country. Fifth in makes, a fifth in percentage. Fourth in 10 threes per game, usually. Good look for Ruffin. Not falling tonight. Great ball movement, just nothing to show for it. Mullins left alone. Mm. And a rather silly foul right there. Jamal Foster called for the foul. 
And over the last five years again, only 15 schools, Charlie, have made it to the NCAA tournament five consecutive years. Look at this list of company that Southern's got. Southern's got pretty good company is exactly right. When we were talking, North Carolina State was the one that sort of surprised you. Franklin retreats and nails it. He can shoot the three. He's 44% from three for the year. And basket feels good if you're Bradley right now. Nice little back dribble by Franklin to get freed up for the shot. Going back to that list, the team probably in the greatest jeopardy right now might be UConn. They're in trouble getting into their own tournament. They did beat Syracuse the other night. They still got a lot of work to do. Falker back in the lineup and makes his presence felt. Beautiful entry pass in. Ruffin. Boom. With the board. Can you make the NCAA tournament if you don't make your own conference tournament? I think not. I think we'll draw the line there. Walker rejected. Adams in there. They call it a tie-up, and Bradley's got the arrow. Walker leads the league in block shots. Gets one blocked on him. But Southern Illinois has doubled it up on Bradley, who's fighting tough tonight on the road. Sorry, Sarah, but there's no girls allowed. Not even girls with old recipe ice cream. <laughs> Prairie Farms Premium Old Recipe Ice Cream is full of all the homemade goodness that smart women know kids love. So from now on, there are going to be some new rules around here. Huh? OK? Mm -hmm. Taste the homemade goodness of old recipe ice cream. majestic humpback whale, nature's public speaker. for a Casey's General Store handmade from scratch pizza. This month, get any large specialty pizza for only $10.99. When you buy a Casey's pizza with friends and family at home, Casey's General Store, Casey's, it's all good. Hey, Dwayne, this project is critical. Got a tight budget and even a tighter deadline. Got it, boss. This is Mrs. Hudson's Park Avenue. She needs brakes, rotors, shocks, wipers, and she's got a bridge game at 2 o'clock, so get on it. And if I screw this up, I'm gonna get fired. No matter what the size of your project, O'Reilly has you covered. O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices. So you went to O'Reilly. Genius. Southern Illinois leading Bradley 20 to 10 with 7.41 to go in the first half here in Carbondale. Let's take a look at the Valley standings. Charlie brought to you by Ameren. At Ameren, they're always working hard to keep your power up and cost down. Ameren, 365 and then some. Well, we talked about earlier, but Creighton's got a little trouble at home tonight, down 14 at halftime. Of course, we have seen them before in that same situation. Creighton in Southern Illinois, you saw at the top of the standings, 10 and 3. Two games ahead of the next group, and then it really gets bunched up. There's a trap again on Franklin and a steal. Falker in the open floor runs into the basket support hard. I hope the support's all right. <laughs> Falker does a really nice job of running. Oh, look at that. You see up the floor. That's that's the way you get run out baskets. First, somebody picks their feet up, and secondly, somebody looks for them. Danny Adams called for the foul, and Falker back to the line where he's two of three. Start calling him Blake A here pretty soon. So you guys talk about how bad a free throw shooter I am. 
We might need to hold that reference in bands just a little. The only guy in the league that looks like Snoop Dogg in the classic movie starts to get hot. They play hockey there. Two free throws. Eight for Falker. Good start for him. Four boards to go along with it. There's two screens that Mullins has to fight through. There came a third one. And Ruffin misses a layup. We saw him do it against Creighton, too, Charlie. He was able to break down the defense and then couldn't get the bucket to go down. And no one there to challenge. Falker did not run him off that one. That was just a, that was just a miss. Bradley now 0 for 6 in open looks. Five of those six are threes. Crouch with the tear away for Bradley. Here's the shooting. Graves is 4 of 14. Sam Sam, a little used, off injured inside player from Ozark, Missouri, with a bonus too. We've had two of those, one for each team, so that's a push. Bradley stays in the zone. Singh trying to give Bradley some minutes inside with Zach Andrews and foul trouble. Both teams skipping the ball a lot tonight. Chaluki's up 10. Young France and gets the hometown Little Egypt roll. I didn't think he was going to shoot that. And Twy gets bumped underneath. Bradley wasted no time. A reminder at halftime, we'll have our Cardinal Glennon Children's Medical Center report where our love for kids just keeps on growing. That's at Cardinal Glennon Medical Center. Children's Medical Center. Foul is called on Foster of Southern Illinois. It's his second. Uh -oh. Bad pass by Twy. Second steal by Mullins. And he gets fouled. Mullins in the right place at the right time. Man. Non shooting foul. Jim Les's team. You look at the score, Charlie, it's almost misleading. You think it ought to be closer than that because Bradley's really played pretty well in the first part of this game. The turnovers, I guess, would be the exception, and Clemens gets fouled on the way to the bucket. Turnovers and the fact that when they've had open shots, including the layup, Bradley hadn't been able to get the ball down, but they've, they've got a great idea what they want to do. Their game structure and their game plan is very good. Wesley Clemens to the line. Clemens a 58% shooter. Southern Illinois is now in the first bonus, although this is a two-shot opportunity for Clemens. Saluki's so ranked for the first time since 2004 when they spent six weeks in the poll. Again, they're ranked 21st in the AP poll, 20th in the coaches' poll. Ooh, close to another Steve right there. 15 point lead for Southern Illinois. Look who's picked up the point guard, Falker. And stays with him. Ruffin's <laughs> looking at him like, what are you guarding me? Leave me alone. Crouch. Falker with the board. And again, rebounding out of your area. Falker chasing a guard out the head of the circle, comes back and gets the rebound. Bradley back man. Crouch ran at Clemens and forced the walk. That's a strange look. You've got a point guard with a center keeping him from getting to the basket. It's not entirely fair. It begs the question if the center's guarding the point guard, who's guarding the center? The point guard, you got it. But it's hard to find him when there's all this activity going on. Walker's going to get called here for hands on Twat. First foul on Falker. 
Well, this offense that Bradley's running, the way they're dribbling the basketball and the constant movement has got to wear people down that are defending. But the Braves, fourth in the country behind BMI, Houston, and West Virginia, and threes per game has just one three-pointer in seven attempts. Again, Bradley spins up. Great, Great ball movement and just an open shot that you think that Bradley's going to hit and they don't make the shot. Their passing has been so good tonight. Their shooting has it. Falker leads the double. <laughs> Gets it back. Different type play right there. Young, Twy defending him. So Young backs up, makes a three. Well, that's when it rains, it pours. Eh? Tony Young's career high is 30 against Bradley in past years, and Ruffin sneaks in to get a bucket. Good individual play by the two guards then. Everything's difficult, though. There's just not anything that's coming easy for Bradley. Look at this. The Salukis have held their last two opponents to 19 first half points each. Indiana State, the second one was in Wichita. Falker can use that left hand, but Andrews playing precariously with two fouls gets the job done. Now, if you're the Braves, you can really use a basket. Crouch offline. Shaw so very strong. Shaw has yet to score, but he's got five rebounds. Saw some people holding onto their pants legs. That's usually when you're tired when you see that. Young's got the field. 14 for Tony Young. Four threes. And Mullins has his hands on Franklin. First foul on Mullins, however, Jim Les's team is in the bonus when we come back. His team's also down by 19. Where are you now, Daddy? I'm in Tokyo this time. Is Paris far away? Pretty far away. Um, Buenos Aires. Do you know where Spain is? It's right under France. It's right. When are you coming home? I'll be home real soon. I love you, Daddy. And where are we flying to today? We're having a business meeting in London. Life can take you almost anywhere. And so can we. We know why you fly. We're American Airlines. What does reliability sound like? It beeps and whirs, screams, and stirs, blips and rings, growls and sings, buzzes, clicks, bangs, and ticks. That's what reliability sounds like. Working hard to keep your power up and costs down. Amarin 365. Sunday, February 25th. They come for the gold, but all we want to see is red. Join host Ryan Seacrest for Hollywood's biggest night when E goes live from the red carpet at the 2007 Academy Awards. And with E's Glam Cam on air and online, nobody brings you closer to the star's styles. From the soles of their feet to the top to their gorgeous gowns. E's live from the red carpet at the 2007 Academy Awards. Sunday, February 25th, starting at 6 Eastern, 3 Pacific, only on E. This program is brought to you by... Where it's more than a car, it's a Honda. Here comes the Big Ten Network. From football to basketball and everything in between. 365 days a year. All Big Ten. All the time. The Big Ten Network. Coming August 2007. 20th ranked team in the country, leading Bradley by 19 points. The Egyptian Dogs leading 33 14. 
When Metro Sports takes its cameras on the road, it considers these hotel properties home away from home. Call these hotels or visit the websites of these properties when following your favorite team. Take a look at the Holiday Inn Conference Center in Carbondale. A great place to stay. Brand new. The business center is burning it up today. Got a lot of work done in that place. <laughs> now I want to ask you, here's Bradley down by 19. We've talked about their effort. They've passed the ball great, and they're getting okay looks. Well, we just have just looked at it. They've had 26 possessions. They are 0 for 7 on open looks. Six of those were threes, and this is a, is a team that shoots threes. This is by design that they're getting these shots. Mitch and the ball's just not going in the goal. Franklin has seven, knocking down both free throws. Saluki's on a 15-6 run of the last five and a half. Shaw has it rejected. Oh, my. And stolen back by Tony Boyle. Clemens is called for three seconds of the lane. It's that kind of night. You don't usually get three seconds in the lane unless you've got an advantage, and there was not a great deal of advantage there. Six steals in this first half for Southern Illinois. Here's a foul on Boyle. That's a second. Zach Andrews will get one plus the penalty here. Southern Illinois, as you look at Boyle, fourth in the country in defending, scoring defense. Only Princeton, Air Force, and Butler give up less points per game. And ironically, it's Butler that Southern Illinois will play in that last big non-conference weekend, a week from Saturday. Andrews gets his second point of the night. Andrews, five double-doubles this season. A huge game, 21 points, 10 boards against Wichita State. Bradley with four unanswered points. Get back within 15. And a steal by Crouch. Misses the layup. Crouch gets it back. Andrews tips it in with an and one opportunity. So Bradley with some hustle plays here. And Boyle's picked up his third foul. Mullins, who usually picks other guys, gets picked here by Jeremy Crouch. The Braves are number one in the Valley in steals. They'll get nine steals per game. Andrews now with five points and five boards. And a 7-0 run here by Bradley. To get back within 12. With 90 seconds remaining in the first 20. Mullins, open look at a three. Not there, shooting just 33% from bonus distance. Ruffin. Short, tough night for Ruffin. One for six from the field, but Charlie Bradley with a 7-0 run, getting rewarded finally for their effort. Finally, a run out and some free throws, and that's what it takes to get you back in a ball game, Mitch, and some things like that. Young, he's been the story for Southern in the first half. They're going to call Matt Shaw over the back of Jeremy Crouch. That puts Bradley in the double bonus. And if this was Crouch going to the line, you might as well just add the points right now. You see Sam Singh ready to come in. Mitch again here's a chance to put points up with, with the clock off and that's exactly what Bradley's needed and essentially essentially get a two for one here the crowd here the student body calling Jeremy Crouch Harry Potter but Harry Potter didn't even shoot free throws as good as Crouch but he's 44 of 48 and yet he's third in the league behind Blake Ahern 
of Missouri State and Kyle Anslinger of Evansville. And a jinx him. He missed his fifth free throw of the season. And still in a situation with one crack each here. 33-22 Southern Illinois. Four second differential. Young sets up Falker in the lane. Slapped by Sam Singh. Jim Lesh. Not real happy with Randy McCall. Mike Sanzier trying to calm him down. As soon as we look at Mike Sanzier, you talked to him before the game. He had some serious heart surgery. What was it, Mitch? 99% blockage? 99%. He was a walking time bomb. His heart could have blown out at any second. We see him work a lot of basketball, not only here in the Valley, but a respected official that works across the country. It's probably why the crowd and the coaches don't bother him much. I think he's got things in a proper perspective. 12 point lead for Southern Illinois. Bradley gets one last crack here. Southern will have the first possession, second half. Raffin deep three. No. Southern Illinois doing their usual damage defensively, leading at halftime here 34 to 22. But Bradley had a run at the end of the half that had to please Jim Less. His effort has been good tonight, his team's effort. Let's go down to Charlie Spooner. Chris, I know the last couple of minutes didn't please you, but that was a good half of basketball for you, and you still got a 12 point lead. All right, well, we, we got to stay cut in, and we got to make sure we, we continue to do what we need to defensively and not have the same relapse that we had in the last three minutes. Okay. Thanks a lot, Coach. Our, coach chat, our chat with uh, Coach Lauer and the rest of the coaches around the league is brought to you by Mercy Health Plans, an innovative health management company empowering members to make healthy choices. The way we care makes all the difference. Bradley, one of the top three-point shooting teams in America. One of ten from three. They trail by double digits here in Little Egypt against the 20th ranked team in the country. I'm State Farm agent Al Sicard, and this is a true story. They took everything, even the kids' uniforms. Coach had to stay with the truck. Al took them over to the mall. He got them new uniforms. He got them to the game just in time. But our coach didn't make it. So I grabbed the clipboard, and I coached. And they ended up winning the whole thing. He got them to play zone. I, I can't get them to play zone. Great service and great rates. It's all here. Nobody takes care of you like State Farm. Call an agent today. Like a good neighbor. State Farm! If you're a fraction off, it can change everything. On the field and in the lab, where Gatorade scientists test and retest athletes so we know exactly what their bodies demand. Precision counts. Out there. And in here. At National City, we want to make banking simple. I like that. When your banking is simplified, you have more time to do what you really want. So, what's not to like? On April 3rd, the world champion St. Louis Cardinals will receive their World Series rings. And to celebrate this momentous occasion, every fan in attendance receives a stunning replica World Series championship ring. It's compliments of FSN Midwest and Edward Jones. Sure to be one of the most exciting premium items in the last 24 years. Tickets are available now through the Pujols 5 game pack. To order tickets for this special presentation, log on to stlcardinals.com or call 314-345-9000. The FSN final score tonight. The State Farm Missouri Valley Conference Game of the Week is brought to you by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. By the Prairie Farms family of dairies. Prairie Farms, Highland, and Roberts Dairies. 
serving quality fresh food products throughout mid-America. By Sirius Satellite Radio, the best radio in radio. By American Airlines, we know why you fly. And by Choice Hotels, with over 5,000 hotels from which to choose, there's bound to be a Choice Hotel wherever you're headed. Southern Illinois 10 0 at home this year, leading Bradley at halftime 34 to 22. As our Cardinal Glennon Children's Hospital halftime report continues from here in Carbondale. Mitch Holt is back with you, along with Coach Charlie Spoonhour. Southern leading by 12, but you really have to admire what Bradley has done the first 20 minutes. They have fought and fought and kept fighting. I had a great idea on how to on how to get shots and to, to use some of Southern's strengths against them, and then just couldn't make shots, but didn't give up. That's the main thing. Uh, Coach Les's team kept playing, and then used the free throws to get back in the ball game and the steals. And yet Southern had that little 7-0 run that took it uh, quickly up to double digits. They can do it in a hurry here. It, it can happen so quickly, and particularly when Young's shooting the ball the way he is on, on occasions tonight. Falker's having his usual good game. I tell you, it, the defense for Southern is just, that's the thing that, uh, of course, Coach is upset with them now. They're not playing it well enough, and they've given up 22 points. <laughs> and what's impressive about Southern, they play it every night. This isn't something they do every other week. You play Southern Illinois, you're going to get defended. Saluki's leading here at halftime, 34 to 22, as our 100th year celebration of the Valley continues. State Farm proudly presents the Just Read program. When we give a child the ability to read, it's a gift that will last a lifetime. At State Farm, we're pleased to be part of the Missouri Valley Conference effort to help young people build their reading skills. Children pay attention when student athletes show how much fun it is to read and how reading skills are so fundamental to doing well in other school subjects. Launched in 1998, the Just Read program is a community outreach endeavor co-sponsored by the Missouri Valley Conference and State Farm Insurance. It really gives a sense of self-satisfaction giving back to kids. I mean, I wish I had something like this when I was younger and have college athletes come and read to us. So it's just really self-fulfilling. In Springfield, Missouri, student athletes at Missouri State University know and understand the importance of setting an example to these young minds. And the most important skill they need in their lives is to be able to read and communicate while making it fun for the children. I think it's very important for the children because it gives them an opportunity to see how college students can come and read to them and they understand the importance of reading and I think they just get a lot of fun out of it so it's important for both us and the kids. I like everything about it. I would just say it's really cool. Missouri State University is proud to be a very active participant in the Just Read program and will continue to be a good example to these children and teach them that reading is not only fun, but the key to their future. State Farm proudly presents the Just Read program. Welcome to my casa. It's your boy, P. Can. This here's my foyer. This is my game room. This right here is my new suede couch. To the pool, baby. These are my ladies. Monday, Tuesday, when? Hey, man, who are you? Steve. You part of the crew? No, I'm just here for the Bud Light. Who gave you that? Wednesday, did you give him that? Refreshingly smooth Bud Light. Always worth it. Yeah, this is why I spend most of my... Man, put down my papaya! Who will be the next national champion? Follow the action at the 2007 NCAA Division I Men's Basketball Midwest Regional, hosted by the Missouri Valley Conference. The games are March 23rd and 25th at Edward Jones Dome. For ticket information, call 314-621-2307 or log on to NCAAsports.com. If I were you, I'd expect lavish guest rooms and gorgeous lake views from a Four Diamond Hotel. If I were you, I'd expect to be entertained, wined and dined. And if I so choose, pampered by day or exhausted by night. And if I were you, I'd want it all. Very close, yet seemingly far away. 
Chateau on the Lake Resort and Spa. More than you expect, closer than you think. March 1st through 4th, Arch Madness returns to St. Louis. The Missouri Valley Conference is among the best in the country. And this year, Taco Bell and FSN Midwest have an even bigger discount for fans. Now you can get $12 off any ticket for Thursday through Sunday games by picking up a coupon at St. Louis area Taco Bell restaurants. That's right. Pick any tournament session Thursday through Sunday and save 12 bucks on the ticket. It's an incredible deal. Pick up your coupon at a St. Louis area Taco Bell today. Valley Centennial Moment, a presentation of O'Reilly Auto Parts with over 1,600 locations in 25 states, highlights Southern Illinois' run in the Doe 5 NCAA Tournament in Oklahoma City. A first-round win over the St. Mary's Gales put the Southern Illinois Salukis into a second-round game against the Oklahoma State Cowboys. Jamal Tatum had 22 points. Darren Brooks added 17, but the Salukis fell in a hard-fought game to Oklahoma State. O'Reilly Auto Parts, better parts, better prices every day. Visit O'ReillyAuto.com. They broke records. They set standards. They brought home titles. They made the Valley proud. They are the very best of the Missouri Valley Conference. And they're all part of a century of sports featuring 100 years of Valley sports and Valley stars. This commemorative book is available now for only $35. A century of sports. Purchase yours today. Thank you so much for bringing me here. I really love it here. Like, first impression, would you marry me? There's so many different things about me that I do not like. I am a princess, and I deserve to be treated like one. Miranda's not happy. Perhaps Jason could show some interest in how Miranda's feeling. I like peanuts. I like cashews, especially candy. Like, my life is so not together right now. Chestnuts, pine nuts, uh, anything in a trail mix. You know who would love to meet you? My mom. She's here. Mommy? Tired of bad dates? Imagine how much time and money you'd save if you invested just 30 minutes to fill out the eHarmony online questionnaire. Because once we get to know you, we can connect you with other singles who have been pre-screened for compatibility with you. So on your first eHarmony date, you'll have so much in common. And that's the beginning of a great relationship. It all starts with your eHarmony personality profile. Free when you log on to eHarmony.com today. Hero Postal, providing scholarship through sponsorship, presents tonight's Valley legend, Bradley's Percy Hawkins. The Hawk was a two-time All-American and a 14-year NBA veteran. He's the Valley's all-time leading scorer with 3,008 points and a three-time All-Valley choice. He scored 63 points in the game against Detroit in 1988 and would later be named the National Player of the Year. For all the latest trends in casual apparel for both guys and girls, visit us on the web at aeropostal.com. Mitch Holter's back with you in our Cardinal Glennon Children's Hospital halftime report. Southern Illinois leading Bradley 34 to 22. Something, just an indication of how good Southern Illinois is defensively. Bradley, one of the nation's best three point shooting teams. In the last three halves versus the Egyptian Dogs, Bradley has made five total three. Top five in the NCAA and getting 10 threes per game. But against Southern, it's hard to get one or two and a half. We'll give you the stats, we'll give you the stats when we come back, but a 12-point lead. Well, let's go ahead and get a look at our first half stats, a presentation of Pepsi-Cola, the official soft drink of the Valley. You see the three-point shooting. That's the big stat of the half. And a lot of them have been open looks. In fact, there have been. The Braves are 0 for 8 on open looks. Six of those open looks have been three-point attempts. Southern with 10 more boards, six offensive boards. The free throws, however, even things up. But at halftime, a 12-point lead for Southern Illinois over the Bradley Braves. First half point, number 15, Tony Jones. 
Arena Dog Chow with perfect nutrition to build, replenish, and nourish your dog. Nourish, at each nourish your dog at each live stage brings you tonight's Famous Valley alum, Southern Illinois' Jim Hart. An institutional great selection for the Valley Hall of Fame. He was a three-year letterman for the Salukis football team, throwing for nearly 4,000 yards and 34 TDs. But he's best known as the leader of Air Coriel of the St. Louis Football Cardinals in the 1970s. For more information on Purina Dog Chow products, visit longliveyourdog.com. When my brother started selling auto insurance, I, I got a little pressure to use them. A little? I'm safe for you, I just, I think blood is thicker than water. So with some of the staff, we switched from State Farm to him. The service is horrible. Well, he wouldn't call me back, and he's my brother. So I called him, and he was ready to switch back. State Farm treated us like family. Yeah, better. Great service and great rates, it's all here. Nobody takes care of you like State Farm. Call an agent today. Like a good neighbor? State Farm is there. I'm a Mecca Okafor, college graduate, Charlotte Bobcat, and proud recipient of the Aeropost Style Big E Scholar Athlete of the Year. Graduating with a 3.76 GPA and a degree in finance in three years, I balance books and basketball. <laughs> Aeropostyle gives out more than $300,000 in scholarships to both students, to both students and student athletes. It wasn't and still isn't all about the rebounds. gentlemen will be landing shortly for those of you connecting we have some information for you if you're going on to atlanta you'll be at gate a9 buenos aires a17 back from a long night out with the entire tokyo office capped off by a karaoke rendition of i am woman that certainly no one will forget and still pulling off that seven figure deal the next morning without a hitch you're at gate c21 denver c10 we know why you fly we're american airlines March 1st through 4th, Arch Madness returns to St. Louis. The Missouri Valley Conference is among the best in the country. And this year, top your dog. And by American Airlines, we know why you fly. Southern Illinois leading Bradley at halftime, 34 to 22. Let's go to Charlie Spooner's visit with Bradley coach Jim Les. Jimmy, I know it's not much consolation, but you guys have had a good idea what you wanted to do, and you've got some open looks. We, we had some good shots. I was really more concerned with our defense of that. You know, we give up 34 points. That's way too many for this team. I didn't think we guarded until the last three minutes. So I think we'll hit those shots in the second half. we got to get better on defense. Okay, thanks, Coach. Thank you. The coaches all year brought to you by Mercy Health Plans. An innovative health management company empowering members to make healthy choices the way we care makes all the difference. Bradley leads the Valley in scoring at 77 points per game, but in three halves total now against Southern Illinois, they've scored 70 total points. Southern Illinois, well, up 12, has the first possession of the second half. An update from the game in Omaha. Creighton was getting pounded at halftime. 48-34 by Evansville. They've now regained the lead, 59-56. Jamal Tatum not getting many minutes here, Coach, in the first half. In fact, Tatum... Only played six minutes. He's fighting some sickness. As Young scores, and, and Tatum does not start the second half, but he's fighting a little bit of the crud that, quite honestly, is kind of moving around Little Egypt. Well, as long as Young's going to play like he's played, then that'll take up the slide. Young with 16 points on helping on defense to knock it out of the arms of Zach Andrews. And Charlie, here's where Bradley's just got to keep it close and then hopefully have a shot at it late. And there's a walk by Andrews. But they just cannot get too far down here in the next five minutes. Well, this first four minutes, we've said this over and over, Mitch, but the first four minutes of the second half, so important. You always try to win that. Bradley has been decent on defense. They get a steal there from Danny Adams. Maybe why Adams has started the second half match. Put his hands on. It's for his defense. And, and just get him out there. And it's not a very big ball club at all, again, that, that Bradley's got out there. I mean, it's a 6'5 it's and under. 
We were bragging up Bradley's defense in the first 20, and Jim Les told you he was upset with the 34 points that Southern had on the board. Twy for three. Adams with an offensive board. Ruffins is just not hitting shots. He's one of seven. I know people question shooting the ball that quickly, but after a rebound, but that is a good time to shoot a ball. Ruffin this year against Southern, three for 20 in the two games combined. Falker, nice feed. It's Young's night couldn't hit that little runner on the baseline. That's hard at that little angle. Why? <laughs> Everywhere for Bradley. <laughs> Fans might have had a might have had a complaint there. Ruffin trying to read the double. Why? Not there. And again, the three ball not going down tonight for Bradley. Open look there. There's been two open looks already this half. It's just the ball hasn't gone down. One for 14 from three are the Braves. 14 point lead for the Egyptian Dogs. Clemens loads up. Somebody covered the goals at halftime. Franklin zips around Young to score. He got around him twice. Bradley lurking within 12. Three minutes gone in the second corner. Jim Les has got to be happy with this defense because this is two points in the first three and a half minutes or so. Falker getting a lot of company. The tip out goes to Bradley. Right now, Bradley's going to force somebody to shoot the ball in from outside, probably other than Young. But they're going to double down, double down on Falker and make somebody else have to hit shots. You were mentioning Jim Lass with a really solid plan here. Oh, that's, I don't think there's any question. He's, he's got a really, really good idea of how what he wants to do against this, against this defense. And it is a good defense. Ruffin pulls up. Shaw bodies down and Clemens has it for Southern Illinois. Now can the Saluki score? Saluki's 0 for 3 in the last three possessions and a turnover. Actually, last four. Falker underneath. Adams reaches in. Nope, oh, stepped out. And Randy McCall caught him. Making it tough on Falker. Falker with nine points and ten rebounds. He got it and got the ball up in the air quickly then. But it's there's going to be people around him. Young setting down right now. Tatum is six. So somebody's going to have to miss some, or hit some shots here. Back off Mullins, and there's a foul underneath. It's going to be on Sally. It's his first foul. Falker, one of the best in the league, Charlie. He's so good at posting and then reposting. There's a tip in for Shaw. You like Shaw, don't you? I do a lot. And that's a situation where you can't score conventionally. You have to get it some other way, and that time off the rebound. Shaw can light it up. He had 26 against Minnesota earlier this year. And Falker has picked up his second foul. Early second half, Bradley still fighting, but trailing by 14. Saluki's won 10 straight games along the string in 37 years of the 61 61 over crate. And traveling to St. Louis, visit Sheraton.com St. Louis to make your reservation at the Sheraton City Center Hotel, the official St. Louis Hotel of the Valley. Little known fact, Southern Illinois has won 145 games since 2001-2002. That is tied with Kansas in that time span. 
Kansas knows all about Bradley. Bradley eliminated them last year from the tournament. And a bonus three from young Andrew Warren, the freshman from Indianapolis. Well, that's not an accident when he makes one of those. He's about a 50% shooter from out there. It's right there, 17 to 33. Had three big threes at Drake in a Bradley Road win. Here comes the double team, almost a triple team on Falker. Clemens scores, and he got hit on the shot. So Jamal Tatum out with sickness. You're thinking maybe Tony Young's not feeling so great. I just wondered, particularly after you mentioned that, because he was sort of slow getting up the floor. Here's Falker doing a nice job of being strong and finding an open man in a tough shot. Clemens now with seven points off the bench for the Salukis. He had 12 earlier this year against Western Kentucky. High ball screens again. Two of them. 14 point lead for Southern Illinois. Four high ball screens so far in this possession. Franklin sets up Adams. That's not there. And Shaw's got the board for Southern Illinois. Good possession for Bradley, just failure to finish the play by hitting the shot. It's been the story all night. Nine of 32 from the field, but a steal by Warren. Jim Les wants a goal 10. Mike Sanzir is not going to give it to him. But now Andrew Warren here. Give a little something to the Braves off the bench. So you need someone to, to come and make some plays and do something that's a little bit unexpected when you're going to win a road game. We're on a good free throw shooter, 79%. Crouch back in for Bradley. Bradley picked preseason like eighth or something. Picked eighth. Sitting here at seven and six in the league. They've been better on the road, Charlie. They're three and four in the league on the road. If they could win a fourth road game, it would be the best in nine seasons for them on the road in the league. And this is a ball club that, that doesn't get close to catching people uh, in rebounds. This is they've got to force turnovers and they've got to hit threes. And tonight they haven't hit threes, but they're still in the game. They're last in the league, in fact, in rebound margin. On average, getting outboarded by seven. In fact, the Salukis, the only time they've out rebounded an opponent and lost was the game at Bradley earlier this year. He's been Bone long on the three. It's going to be interesting. It's going to Bradley. Good hustle play by both teams. Green just couldn't get there and make the play. Big crowd on hand here tonight in Little Egypt. 41 29, Southern Illinois. Still 13 39 to go. Bradley is 0 for 11 on open looks. Nine of them threes. Walker out on Crouch. And a violation, a lane violation, our second of the night. This is on Zach Andrews. For teams that don't have huge postmen, three in the lane is a kind of an unusual call. Had two tonight. Of course, the other one was the uh, Clemens pivot deal. Bone. Nick Nack, Patty Whack, give an Egyptian dog a bone. Joshua a bone for two. Freshman stepping up and playing in a big game. It's February. Andrews. You really need to finish that. Bone had the feel. Falker with the follows. First. Second half points. He's got another double double, Charlie. 
And for Falker, it is his 11th career double-double. I don't know how in the world he got to the ball, let alone got the ball, landed, and then finished. That was a really, really good play. We're going to step aside. Southern Illinois playing like a top-20 team. Go. The women's tournament this year is in the second weekend of March in Des Moines. We call it Hoops in the Heartland. I'm headed to Des Moines Friday night. Break will play Creighton on our game of the week. A reminder, check in with the Des Moines Convention and Visitors Bureau. Call the number you see on the screen. The toll-free number or go to Des Moines.com and check it out as the Des Moines folks and the Drake Bulldogs will be host to this year's Hoops in the Heartland Missouri Valley Conference Women's Basketball Tournament. Zach Andrews able to slither inside for a couple. My design off the pick and roll. Fourteen point lead. Fresh, pretty good. Chris Lowry really likes Joshua Bone and his potential. Bone is a freshman out of Nashville, Tennessee. He came into this game one turnover in 111 minutes. He's playing as relaxed as you can play. Coach Lowry says nothing. It's too big for him. He's very, very intelligent. Good basketball IQ. Shaw losing the ball. No foul, but Southern Illinois will keep it. Very smart play by Shaw. Shaw's had trouble out on the floor with the smaller defenders. That time he took Twy inside. Maybe could have drawn a foul. Team's up 14, however. 11.56 left to go in the game. With over 5,000 hotels to choose from, there's bound to be a choice hotel wherever you're headed. Book your stay by calling 877-240-2929. Or visit choicesportstravel.com. Get your best internet rate guarantee. We'll see you there. Get these minus temperatures we've had around the Valley footprint. And start calling that number real fast. We'll show you an update from the game in Omaha. Creighton and Southern Illinois came into this night tied for the Valley lead at 10 wins and three losses. Creighton is down by 14 and a half in Omaha. Oh, Evansville. Oh, if Young is sick, <laughs> everybody should be this sick. 18 points on 7-11 shooting. Boyle. Franklin's going to get an easy one. Unless Bones got other night ideas. 11 for Will Franklin. Very, very unusual to see a giveaway basket, and there was one right there. Chris Larry wants timeout. He's upset. His team's up 14. And he's fixing to go 51 and 1 at home against Valley Team since 02. Tonight's game brought to you by Aeropostal. Visit us on the web at aeropostal.com for all the latest trends in casual apparel for both boys and girls. Aeropostal providing scholarship through sponsorship. That was the 12th turnover for Southern and led to a basket. And that's what made the coach so upset. I asked Chris last night, what makes you guys so good defensively? His answer, there is a high degree of accountability with everybody on this team in regards to defense. Well, you just saw there's a timeout taken there like somebody had you know, done something heinous. I mean, that's the 33rd point of the night. <laughs> and Chris is acting like, you know, we may have to have somebody put to sleep over this. I mean, he was, uh, he was not happy. He's going to make him walk the green mile. Give it. All right, we have a final here. Creighton was down 48-34 at half. It was in Omaha. You can imagine what the Quest Center was like in the second half as Creighton goes to 11-3 in the league, spoon with a 5.1 over the Purple Aces. Well, they needed, obviously, did Creighton that win because they've got to play. Oh, my. Playing above the rim for a little while. Their next game, Charlie? I believe it'll be right here on Saturday. It's going to be a foul on Falker and Chris Lowry. He's not happy. All right, here's your updated stammering. I'm sorry, updated standings in the Valley, a presentation of Amron. 
There's Creighton with their half game lead, but Southern Illinois, 10 and a half minutes from joining them. Bradley, if they would lose, would go to seven and seven, but Bradley's still hanging in there. You know, if Bradley could finish strong, they play at Virginia Commonwealth on that big non conference weekend. If they could pop VCU, which is very good, by the way, only two league losses or two losses total. Bradley could finish uh, strong and have a bid for postseason play in the NCAA tournament. But they won't play anywhere they go against a better or harder defense than the one they've looked at tonight. Nothing is easy. Andrews is going to get free throws here. There's a foul on Wesley Clemens of the Salukis. Five team fouls on Southern Illinois and Andrews to the line. 14 point lead for the Egyptian Dogs. Free throws have been good for the Braves tonight. We'd like to welcome our audience that has been watching the Nebraska Kansas State women's game in the Big 12. We are here at Little Egypt, they call it, Southern Illinois Arena in Carbondale. Mitch Holtis, along with Charlie Spoonar, the 20th ranked team in the country on the mid side, Southern Illinois. And they lead a 47 34 for the Bradley Braves. Congratulations to Connie Yori, a Valley alum and the head coach at Nebraska. She played and coached at Creighton. Having a heck of a year, Charlie. Her team is 20 and 4 and 1 at Manhattan tonight. And here, Bradley is fighting. They just cannot get over the hump as the uh, Salukis lead by 13. This has been a little bit ragged on both ends of the floor the last three or four minutes. Both teams are playing really, really hard. But nobody's going to give any quarter to anyone. A little under 10 to go. Southern Illinois hanging to that double digit lead. Bradley has just not shot it well from the field. 28%, 2 of 17 from 3. And if you haven't seen Bradley all year, we need to tell you they're one of the top five teams in the country at shooting threes. Shaw's back out on the floor and probably would behoove him to get to the basket area because I think he can do some good. Balker's out with three fouls. Nice curl by Young. Splash. 20 points for Tony Young. He only averages nine per game. You need guys to step up when you've got people that are not feeling well or people that are in foul trouble, and he's certainly done that tonight. Franklin with a hard cross around Mullins, and he's got 13. It's a hard basket to hit right there. It's in traffic and on the move, but he sure hit it. There's a post up, at least a half harder than there. Clemens waits for the three. 10 for 35 from three point distance on the year. And once again, Bradley with a chance to chip into the Saluki lead. Warren, he's been a load in the second half. Seven second half points for the Bradley freshman. Two freshmen have certainly made their presence known tonight. Now, if you're Bradley, can you get a stop and get it within single digits? That's what Bradley needs right here is one more stop and then a, a, a turnover or anything. Bradley, the man, Shaw pins his guy and cannot get the bucket to go down. He had Andrews pinned. It's the right place for him to be right now in the ball game, though, particularly with Falker out of the game. Franklin rescued by Twine. Adams, bucket, and a foul, and all of a sudden, the Bradley Braves are within single digits for the first time in a long time. Danny Adams with a tough take. There's a timeout on the floor. Still 7.38 to go, and Bradley fighting in Little Egypt against the 20th ranked team. Where are you now, Daddy? I'm in Tokyo this time. Is Paris far away? Pretty far away. Oh. Buenos Aires? 
Do you know where Spain is? It's right under France. It's right. When are you coming home? I'll be home real soon. I love you, Daddy. And where are we flying to today? We're having a business meeting in London. Life can take you almost anywhere. And so can we. We know why you fly. We're American Airlines. What does reliability sound like? It beeps and whirs, screams and stirs, blips and rings, growls and sings, buzzes, clicks, bangs, and ticks. That's what reliability sounds like. Working hard to keep your power up and costs down. Ameren 365. Insight Media and local businesses want you to win. Go to www.winontv.tv, the hotspot for special offers from area businesses. Click on your city from the homepage, and you're automatically taken to special contests and offers in your area. Win on TV makes playing fun. Celebrate 25 years of excellence with Peoria Riverbend Hockey. Take advantage of this buy one Upper Bowl Center ticket, get one free offer this season. It's a great way to enjoy all the fun-filled family entertainment the Riverbend have to offer. For information, check out riverbend.net. In the fight against HIV and AIDS, I've chosen the most effective weapon I know, my heart. It's what gives me the power to reach out to others, to share my time and resources. It's what motivates me to volunteer in my community and do what I can to help. In the fight against HIV and AIDS, all the weapons we need are right here at our disposal. Want to join the fight? You're already armed. Join the fight. that and more tonight on the final score. Southern Illinois leading Bradley 49 to 40 but they had a lead as much as 19 earlier in this game and led by 12 at halftime. All right big non-conference games coming up for the Valley. It has been arguably the best year in the 100 years of the Valley but look at these Charlie another chance for the Valley to make a big statement with some big time matchups. Right and I think the thing that, that the teams will find is that they're, they'll be scouted, but they won't be as well scouted. And things that you can run, they'll be like early in the year. You'll be able to do some things and get some baskets. Hard to get a basket once you get the league play. There have been many philosophers throughout mankind. I ponder the question. Danny Adams shoots 45% from three. And he's 7 of 18 at the foul line, shooting 40%. I don't understand it because he's 45 percent from three like you said and he looks good shooting the basketball. You, it has to be if you don't think this is a mental game. It's a mental game. He barely hit rim on that free throw. The guy zings in threes like it's no big deal. I'm sure Kepler and other philosophers wondered the same thing. 719 remaining in the game. 49 to 40. Bradley did get it cut down to single digits. Falker is going to get shoved by Andrews, and that is four fouls. Our correction, three fouls on Zach Andrews. Good job this time of finally getting the ball deep. And he's got four fouls. And so he's got to set. And we saw Southern made a run, make a run in the first half when he had to set. Let Falker get some touches. I think Falker will probably catch the ball a time or two now. There's one time. No. Oh, there's a two, two. Three. <laughs> Bone wants it. Four. And Falker hustles and gets his fourth hand on a ball. Already with a double double, 11 points, 12 boards, and 6.49 to go. But here is Bradley now. Great game plan by Jim Les. They just couldn't hit shots. If they get a three here, even a two, this gets real interesting. It gets very interesting. And that time, one coach talks to one referee, one talks to another. We should have gotten Daly because he got left out. Just wait till the rotation. He gets in front of the bench. He'll get his time. Steal by Shaw. Actually, Mullins deflection from Shaw. Young's foul by Franklin. He thought he got all ball. 
Well, that's what Southern Illinois needed. That's what Bradley didn't need. There's a turnover and a chance to run out and now to get, now to get a free throw. Ten turnovers by the Braves. And Young to the line. 21 points for Tony Young. He's 85% at the line. That one took a long way around to get there. He made 11 here against Bradley last year at the foul line. Just now slides out. 10 point lead for Southern Illinois. Ruffin in jail. Oh. Seth. Bradley playing across the midcourt line. Not good. Twice sets up Franklin. Maybe hurried a little bit. If you're trying to find a reason why that didn't go, but it was still a pretty good look. Oh, look at that. Bradley Fortunate Mullins had it stripped at the last second. It was going to be an easy layup. You said that the Salukis should have an advantage rebounding on this Bradley team. Ten point lead for Southern. 5.39 to go. Tie up. Southern Illinois era. Falker was deep enough that time, Mitch. He just he didn't have his balance and had the ball up over his head instead of in his chin. Falker looks like flypaper at the Fourth of July picnic. Because <laughs> he's getting a lot of stuff stuck to him underneath the goal when he catches it. Hard to get the ball in. Young rattles out. Twy with it. Pretty good defense by the freshman that time. Adams on the swing around. Now he'll hit a three, and he just did. Or if they'll let him move over to the side, maybe wing one from about 18 feet. This is a seven point game. As close as Bradley's been in a long time. And still five minutes to go. And Twy trying to bring up the heat gets the foul. <laughs> Twy, Twy again tried to sell the fact that he didn't really do anything, but a little hard to get away with that. And that's the reason that, that Bradley has managed to get back in this ball game. They have they have been relentless at their defense also. This is as close as Bradley has been since the 10 minute mark of the first half. Specifically the 10 7 mark when they were down 14 7 and Falker gets loose inside the fly paper. And that's a good place to go with the basketball right now. Randall Falker what a year he's had what a night he's had Franklin it's whacked in the face and still gets it down off the glass he's got 15. Good defensive pressure again right here. Young on the swing around. Just enough defense to tip out, keeps it in the hands of the Salukis. That just drives you crazy when somebody tips the ball out on you like that. Falker tried to get the angle, and Andrews. Just enough defense to force the turnover. That is now 14 Southern Illinois turnovers. Defensive pressure, that's what that is, and the ball was entered just a little quickly by Shaw. We have a full timeout on the court charge to Bradley. 13 rebounds now for Matt Shaw. You see him closest to Chris Lowry. The old Saluki point guard. Probably not real fired up right now at this team. Four minutes to go. It's a seven point game, and Bradley will have the ball. Jim Les calls a full timeout, knowing how important this possession is. Last time he came out of the timeout, or maybe it was the time before, they ran the, the screen, then the second screen on the pick and roll. They got the ball right out of the basket. Wouldn't be bad to try again. Next game, 
And I'm headed for Des Moines after this one. It'll be Creighton and Drake, two great private school rivals. We just saw the men's version of this game last weekend. I'll see it Friday night at 7.30. Jill Hutchison will join me for that one at 7.30 Central. And then we'll take the Valley Truckster with the Chuckster and head to Cedar Falls the next night for Northern Iowa and Missouri State. I'm sure it'll be balmy. We thought it was cold the last time we were there. That's about 10 degrees colder and his, or warmer than his right now. That ought to be a very, very good basketball game on Saturday night. It'll be one that if both those teams really, really need to win. Northern has suffered of late. We saw them. They won at Wichita State in the end of December. We thought maybe they'd win. They've got the ingredients. It's just every team goes through a little lull, and this is probably theirs. At one point, Mitch, we've said this before, too, Missouri State was looked like they were going to be the, the flavor of the month. Southern even had their lull, losing at Evansville, lost to this Bradley team in Peoria. A little all-court pressure here by Southern just to bother the Braves. Let's see what Bradley comes up with out of the timeout. Different play than before. This is strictly just a weave right here. And the postman's just trying to get position low. The postman got position low. Andrews uses his strength to score over Falker. 11 for Zach Andrews. Bradley is within five points. You change sides of the floor with the dribble. It's easier than to do it with a pass against Southern Illinois. Center keeps working for position and eventually gets it. Turnabout, oh, was nearly fair play. Falker with the save, his strength, his hands are so good. He saved the ball, it should have been a turnover. I don't recall that being true two years ago. Wow, oh, young. He forces Ooh. one. And Bradley has a chance to chip into the lead even further. This is a this is big time possession right here. Still 247 to go. Bradley making this interesting. Ruffin cups it, scoops it, gets fouled. And that's again, that's again just off the dribble weed is all that is, man. Mullins called for the foul. 30 fouls on Mullins. Getting tense. Yeah, that's how you are in now. They're in the bonus, essentially. The next foul on Bradley will put the Salukis in the bonus, and the Egyptian dogs have the arrow. Andrew looking at the 75% free throw shooter walking to the line. The whole thing in a nutshell is this is going to boil down to stops. Check out Emerson. Go to Emerson.com. Emerson, consider it solved. Sponsor of our Valley Game Reset. Now Ruffin has one plus the penalty. He has just two points tonight. Daniel Ruffin, one of nine from the field. Oh my. Way short. Big miss right there. That could have turned it into a one possession game. Who's going to look for the shot here for Southern Illinois? Up five. They led by as many as 19 earlier in the game. I would have thought 15 or Falker would have been the candidates. Six to shoot. Mullins. No, and Bradley continues to defend. Zach Andrews, so strong, yanks the ball down. Two minutes to go right now. Five-point game. Bradley back to the weave, it appears. Well, that was quite an adventure. Ruffin, the backwards pass from Franklin, and Ruffin hitting nothing tonight. Now big possession right here for both teams. Oh. Fly called for the grab. This will put SIU in the bonus. Dangerous pass that time. Shaw, 
That shot of the line, 83% shooter. Three points for Matt Shaw. Not a lot done offensively, Spoon, but he's got 13 boards. He's been on the perimeter for so much of the game offensively, and out there, he's probably getting out quick a little bit. When he's been inside, he's looked like he could be a factor. From Centralia, Illinois, nicknamed the Orphans, the Centralia Orphans. Two big free throws down, lead of seven. Jim Les wants timeout. 127 still to go. You know, you say, well, we're only seven behind. Do you know how hard it is to make seven points in this game? <laughs> it's time now for a Rawlings play of the game. Rawlings, the official athletic equipment of the Missouri Valley Conference. It goes to a freshman, knick-knack, paddywhack, giving Egyptian dog a bone. Nice drive. And there it comes right there. He does not play much like a freshman at all. Rawlings, the official athletic equipment of the Missouri Valley Conference. Joshua Bone, the National Tennessee freshman. Bradley out of timeouts. This is one of those when you're on the bus, headed back to the plane to go to Peoria, and you're the coach, Jim Les, you're absolutely gnawing on your leather bag. <laughs> yeah, because you had an idea what you wanted to do, you got it done, and you just didn't get the ball in the basket. They're still obviously very much in this. They need to get something quick out of this, out of this timeout. They are three of 21 on threes. They normally shoot 43% from three, fifth in the nation. Oh, Mullins bumping Ruffin. Clock will stop. <laughs> now, and now Ruffin has got to step up and make a free throw, Mitch. That's the thing. His last one was not a very pretty sight. Four fouls on Mullins. Mullins trying to rip through the plywood. Ooh. Fouls Ruffin. He's got his third point. Good free throw shooter. It just. Man. Wow, what a night. One for 10. 0 for 5 from 3. 1 for 3 at the line. And give Shaw credit. He's not scoring any baskets, but he's getting rebounds just like the last one he got. Chris Lowry calls timeout with 19 on the shot clock, 107 to go, and still up six. Well, as hard as threes are to come by for Bradley, it would, it would really behoove them to get a stop here and probably drive it at the basket match rather than come down and take us as three. Because if you shoot a three now and don't make it, it's pretty well Katie bar the door. Let's go ahead and announce our State Farm players of the game. For Bradley, Will Franklin, who's had two good games now this year against Southern Illinois, and that's hard to do. But you're exactly right. That's something that he can take with him, because if you can play well against these guys, you can play anywhere. This is line, 15 points, four boards, and assist for Franklin. And the assist is probably a misleading stat, because how many times did he throw a ball that could have been Put in the basket and, and somebody just didn't hit a shot. Well, this is an interesting 19 seconds right here. Tony Young, the State Farm player of the game for Southern Illinois, 21 points, four boards, four of six from three. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there in a great valley partner. Don't want to foul now. And they foul. Oh, a sigh of relief, assistant Rodney Watson. On the Southern Illinois bench. <laughs> and they could see what Jim Les thought of. Rough and fouled. It'll be one and one for Tony Young. You know, when you've got somebody captured like that, and that was not a real hard foul, but when you've got him captured, that's a good time not to reach in. Tony Young. It's tied a season high with 22 points. He had 22 against Western Kentucky earlier this year. Seven point lead now, three possession lead for Southern Illinois. Some about Bradley, Tony Young likes his career high a year ago, 30 against the Braves. His season high this year against the Braves. 
Mullins tips to Young in Southern Illinois. He's going to keep tied with Creighton at the top of the league at 11 and 3. Separation in the league leads to a showdown. Saturday night, Creighton, Southern Illinois. Think there'll be anyone here? <laughs> Some of these folks may not leave. Fifty six to forty eight. Southern Illinois will go eleven and zero at home. And yet when you look at Jim West and his bench the effort tonight the plan tonight so much better than a week ago against Creighton in their home line night and day Mitch night and day this has been a really good effort there's been a couple guys that haven't had good games but the effort's been there. Bradley plays like this they can win out they have to go to Virginia Commonwealth of course steal by Young and here's a obligatory slam well people are going to see this score and they're going to say well Southern did it again it was hard for Southern, but they persevered. Ruffin throws in a runner. First field goal of the second half. Sixty to fifty, Southern Illinois. Twentieth in the country in the coaches' poll. Twenty-first in the AP poll. Rolls on, Charlie. Twenty-win season again. Again. Final score, Southern Illinois 60, Bradley 50. And now Chris Lowry's team gets tonight to enjoy this game. And tomorrow, the attention will turn to the Creighton Blue Jays, who were down by 14 tonight at halftime to Evansville in Omaha, but rallied to win. Randall Falker, another double-double. His 11th career double-double tonight as the Salukis take care of business against the Valley. Since the 01 02 season at home, Chris Lowry's team, the Salukis, are 51 and 1. The beat goes on in Little Egypt. A tough win tonight. Bradley gave Southern all they wanted, but the Salukis get the victory as they bark loudly for their Salukis at Southern Illinois. For Charlie Spoonhour, I'm Mitch Holtis. Get ready for the rest of the Valley season. It's going to be great.